Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain how to create an arc using EntMake function in Autolist programming. If you want to create an arc in Autolist program, you must have the center point of the arc, radius of the arc, as well as the start angle and end angle of the arc. What is start angle and end angle? Let me show you that one. Let's draw a line from the center point to the start point of the arc and center point to the end point of the arc and go to dimension and take angular dimension and try to put angle over here and over here. So the first one is start angle and the second one is end angle. So 15 degrees is start angle, 60 degrees is end angle of the arc. So it is starting at 15 degrees and ending at 60 degrees. Along with that, let's have radius also. So take radius dimension and place the radius. So it is 25 units. Now let's try to create arc using and make function. Let's go to Visual IDE and take uh, already a file is there. So let's try to write or let's try to write the program. So we should have radius and center point. So I'm declaring those two. So set Q radius as 25 units that we know. So let it, let it be 25 units and set Q center point. So get point backslash N pick center point. Of course, here we are picking the center point in the program. Generally, you will have that point. So let's take this point from the drawing, load this and pick this point so that you will have coordinates in the program. You must have this point before you are going to create this arc using and make function. So let's go to and to make and to make list cons zero arc. The entity type is arc and the center point is CEN variable and we have to load this radius also. Then only we will have that variable available in the memory and then the radius. So cons 40 code DXF 40 code holds radius of the arc and DXF code 50 will have the starting angle of the arc. So angle of it is starting angle is 15 degrees. We have checked that one. So I am converting this angle to radians using angle of function. You know this function. We have seen this in the previous sessions. You can see this value. Similarly, the end angle is 51 code holds DXF code 51 holds end angle. So it is 60 degrees. So that's what I am writing over here. So with that, what are all the different properties we have written here? Entity type, center point, radius and the starting angle and ending angle. That's our in. Those are enough to create an arc using and to make function. Let's try to change its color also. So let me change its color to some yellow color because it will overlap over there. So cons 62 with color 3 green I am giving. Okay, so green color arc should come. So now let's make sure that radius is there. I am loading this and center point. Just load this one. We have already read that point. Now I am trying to create this arc. So load this statement and click load selection. Now, if you go to as it is written here in Visualist console window, it is created. So just go to AutoCAD. You can check that over there. So you can see green color arc is available here. So that is how we create an arc using and to make function. Let us try to create this arc also. So let me draw this line. So this is my end angle. The starting angle is from here to here. So we should have that line also. Let's try to place the angle now. So go to dimension and take angular dimension and I am picking these two. So here you can see it is 15 degrees and it is again 60 degrees, which means from here it is 180 plus 15 that is 195 degrees and 180 plus 60 that is 240 degrees. So the arc starting angle is 180 plus 15. Why? Because the angle starts over here. So it is 0 degrees from here to here it is 90 and up to here it is 180, 180 plus 15, 195 degrees. So the starting angle of this arc is 195 and ending angle is 180 plus 60 that is 240 degrees. So to create that arc just go to Visualist PyDE 
and write it over here like this. So the center point and radius would be the same. So and to make list cons sorry arc center point is same radius is also same same only and then 50 degrees angle so the angle is length of 195 degrees is starting angle and ending angle is 240 degrees and its color is let's make it 4 so that's all so let us try to load this one just I am loading this statement and click this load button it is created just go to AutoCAD so you can see cyan color arc is created over here so how do we create an arc using end to make function we should have the center point of the arc that is uh, over here and its radius as well so you should have radius and also the starting angle with reference to x axis that is from the zero angle you should have the starting angle and from the zero angle you should have the end angle of the arc so using these four different items that is center point radius starting angle and ending angle so using all these four items we can create an arc using end to make function friends hope you understood how to create an arc using visualism you can use the same thing in your programs i would like to add one more method to create arc using three points let us say you have three points and you want to create an arc of course this is not using end to make method but command method let us see how to do that one let's go to visualism ide say we have three points p1 get point uh, let's have say backslash n pick first point and p2 get point again backslash n pick second point and p3 here we are taking the points in the program maybe you will have those three points okay so we have three points we need to read them so let's take these three points i'm loading this statement to pick three points the first one second one third one now we have three points to create an arc it is simple so let's take command method command arc p1 p2 p3 that's all very simple just provide three points an arc will be generated let's check this go to autocad so you can see an arc is created this is simplest way of creating an arc using three points friends hope you understood well and if you like this video i request you to subscribe to my channel as well as share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session